Alright brothers, how's it going? Does ya? Bring some Dark Souls. Right, and I've wanted to say the intro for a very long time. <laughs> and I've finally got to say it. So here it is, Dark Souls. This will be a full Let's Play. Uh, I, well, to be honest, I probably should call it Let's, let's Attempt. Because knowing my track record, I, I never ever finish Let's Plays. So uh, hopefully I'll get this one finished. Uh, Dark Souls, it is pos possibly one of my favourite games of all time. I've completed it about three or four times on PC, uh, on console, sorry, and now it's on PC. I'm very excited to play it. Uh, we'll get going here. I already have a game uh, that I was playing, but that was just to test things out and get things working properly. And I will definitely start a new game. So here we go, new new game. Uh, right, enter character name. Uh, does does uh, sex male obviously class. Right now, the build I want to go is uh, kind of melee, so I want to start with either knight or warrior. And judging by the stats, uh, warrior is the best one to start with. Because throughout Dark Souls, you really want to be leveling just three skills. You see the skills in the bottom left hand corner there uh, Vitality, Achievement, Achievement, all that stuff. You only really want to be leveling three of them throughout the full game. Uh, well, well, focusing on three of them. You can level other ones, but don't focus on more than three, I would say. And I will be focusing on Vitality, Endurance and Strength. Uh, oh, let's go back here, change the hair. Uh, let's go with that one. Yeah, Vitality, Endurance and Strength, they will be the, my main focus. But I will probably get some Dexterity uh, and possibly other random stuff along the way. But we'll see. Anyway, this is my character. It takes you two seconds to create it. Uh, the Gift, you always want to go with the Master Key. Certainly because it is the best one. Um, and you can pick all the other ones up along the way. And they're really easy to obtain, so but the master key is uh, quite difficult to obtain, I think. But yeah, master key definitely go with that one if you haven't played Dark Souls before. And so without further ado, I will let you watch the cutscene and I will shut up. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. This is so fun, good. And death. And of course, light and dark. Aye. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. of the day. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy so oh, forgotten. easily forgotten.
But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers. And man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Right, so there we have it. That's essentially the best cutscene in any game <laughs> to open up with. It's all really good. Uh, she talks a little bit after this, but it's not exactly important. Uh, sorry for the FPS like yeah, I don't know if you see it, but I get it on my screen. So apologies if you uh, do see the FPS drop yes, just in this little bit. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. And here we are. There is me, chilling in the corner with me armor on. It certainly is. It certainly is. She has brute. Right, I think that's it for the talking, so I will, be, I will be able to talk for good now. Right, Dark Souls, here we are, finally get a play it on PC. Been look, been looking forward to this game for a long time. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit rough. Uh, I went to the Elite Festival and I've come back and my voice is absolutely done in. Uh, but that did not stop me from making the Dark Souls Let's Play. Right, so we're going to get the key that guy, guy dropped down off that body and we're going to go ahead here and kill a few of these uh, starter guys. Uh, this is a really raw PC port. Look at that! Like it's his eerie message, which is just <laughs> quite, uh, which is quite. I don't know what they were, embarrassing, I suppose. But I mean, they, they never. They're from Software or whoever it was. I can't remember who developed it. It was either Bandai or From Software. They did not say they were going to make a full PC port. Uh, this is essentially the Xbox version with PC controls, which is a. Uh, and, and better graphics, of course. Uh, so, here we are. Yep, like I said, I've completed this three or four times. I've got a character on console, which I've completed on New Game Plus uh, Plus. I think that's the furthest I've been. Basically, New Game Plus Plus is... Uh, you, well, you, you start a new game and you do that, and then you go to New Game Plus, which is, is everything uh, gets harder. And then you go to New Game Plus Plus after that, which means it's even harder than New Game Plus. Uh, you can go on for as long as uh, possible, I think. I'm not even sure if there's a, a limit. So, uh, bonfires, uh, you, uh, what you do with bonfires, they're essentially checkpoints. Uh, they refresh your Estus flasks, which I will get soon. And they are basically health potions, but you only get a limited amount of them. Uh, and basically, when you die, you get returned to the previous bonfire. And you also get to level up and do random things with bonfires. Not not these bonfires, though, in, the, in this first area, the Undead Asylum. You don't get to do that, uh, but when I get to the next area very very soon, you will be able to see that. So I just pick up a shield there, so I'm going to put that shield on, and that will allow me to run up here without getting hit. The controls are a bit loose at the moment, the, the mouse needs a lot more work, we need a lot more control over the mouse I think, there needs to be a lot more settings for it, because at the moment it is very very loose and I've kind of got used to it now. But when he's first started off, it is quite difficult to manoeuvre. Uh, but I'm fine with it now, to be honest. Uh, right. So I've got the sword. I've just pick up a sword as well. Then I'm going to equip that. Uh, now we're going to chop this cut up. Right, and then we're going to go through here. Trace the white light. Oh, 
Right, uh, now I'm going to run up here, and this guy will drop a boulder down, and I will just run out of the way. There we are. Not me allow, allow me to go from here. Talk to some guy, and then I'll be able to get some master's flasks. Oh, well, I'm just going to figure skip all this, because it's not exactly important. Uh, apologies if I do cough as well. Like I said, my throat is hurting. Uh, so... Alright, here we go. Now I've got the key for the door up here. And we've got S's flasks. Only five of them, but you can get more as you go through the game. Uh, and like I said, they refresh every time you rest at a bonfire. But the bad thing about bonfires is that every single mob in the game respawns when you rest at one. Which sounds bad, but it's not as bad as it uh, sounds really. Come on. I don't want to get hit. I'm take care of this archer. Now there's one more guy through here, and then I will go and face the first boss. And he's pretty straightforward. See, so he's, he's drinking SS flask. Oh, I missed him there. But it's not a problem. <laughs> yeah, some mobs drink uh, flasks to get the health back up. But anyway, first boss, here we go. Right, so now there he is down there, and I'm going to two hand on my sword and thrust attack him to do more damage. Basically, he's half his health gone already. Nah, oh, come on, I didn't get hit by that. So the whole point of not getting hit in this game is to just manoeuvre out of the way of things and roll out of the way. And that's what you got to do. A lot of rolling will be done in this game. Might as well just drink up. Because I can. <laughs> All bosses are quite tricky in their own way in this game. You've just got to be careful in them. You just take your time and then you learn kind of their skill set. And then you, you will uh, eventually take them down. But it will be interesting to see how I fare against the new bosses, because there's a good few new bosses in this game. So it will be pretty interesting to see how I fare against them. Uh, after every boss you get humanity, and humanity is basically can turn you back into human. And human gives you kind of spe special privileges. It allows you to summon people into your game to help you with bosses and stuff. But also people can invade your game to kill you. So it's quite quite like a, a one-way, a two-way thing. Uh, but you also can do something called Kittle a Bonfire, which allow you to get five more Estus Flasks from a bonfire, but it costs one humanity. <laughs> I'm kind of unloading a lot of information at you at this point, but that's because I want to get everything across so nothing's uh, left out in the open. Uh, you see I picked up there, Soul of the Lost and Dead. Uh, basically, when I use that, uh, you will see in the bottom right-hand corner, my counter will go up, and that basically, the counter in the bottom right-hand corner is my souls, and my souls allow me to buy things within the game. Let's let you watch this, it's only short. But one day an undead shall be chosen. The big ass crew. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage. To the land of the ancient lords. Right, yo, now we are in the main hub here. It's called Filing Shrine, and this place is quite like, it is, like I said, the main hub, and it allows you to get a lot of different areas, and it's just generally a safe place to be, I suppose. Uh, right, so we should get dropped off any second now. Yeah, we are. This game looks really nice on PC. I mean, it looked good on console, though, say it, so, say it on PC, it's even better. The detail in the armor, that's brilliant. Right, here we are. Reach Lord Run. Now th that will go in a second. Please leave my screen. Apologies if I do cough. I'll try to put my hand over the mouth to minimise the uh, sound. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. My time to get this off my screen. See, I've got uh, 
on PC, it, the controls are fucked up compared to the ones on console. There we are, there we are. Right, uh, uh, rest of bonfire, like, right, like I said, you can level up, like you can kindle, which allow you to get more Estus flasks, and you reverse Halloween, which will turn you into a human, and you can't do that until you reverse your Halloween. Uh, right, so. I, th I'm going to do some preparation before I start, which means going around and maximising the most I can out of the area I'm in and getting them uh, just generally uh, a lot of things from a certain area. So, but first of all, we're going to level up a few stats. So, I'm going to level up. So, that, level up that too, and I'll put one point in that. Every time you level up, your uh, like base level, soul level goes up. Your soul level is just your overall level. Uh, right, so we're going to do some. Gonna, gonna do some preparation here. First of all, I will begin by clicking this humanity. 